So, this is the smallest thing in existence. The plank length. And there are the two smallest things in the universe other than the plank length. Quantum fall and a string. This isn't the type of string for a kite, though. And then we're gonna dig deeper. Yachtometer by yachtometer. Might take a long time, though. Here we are. The neutrino. At just one yachtometer. Top quark. High energy neutrino and bottom quark. Both 15 zeptometers and 30 zeptometers, respectively. And the charm quark, strange quark, a bunch of other quarks. Range of the weak force is 10, <coughs> is 10 atometers. Lengths shorter than this are not confirmed. Here we are at the femtometer. A proton is just one femtometer, and so is a neutron. And the helium nucleus, this is the fun part, is just three femtometers. Chlorine nucleus is six femtometers. And the uranium nucleus is 15 femtometers. The electron is 5.64 femtometers. Gamma ray wavelength is one picometer, but we still have to dig even deeper until we reach the universe. Hydrogen atom is only 31 picometers. Helium atom is only 25 picometers. Wait, hold on. What's the size of this one again? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, so... Here we are. This is the smallest thing visible to an electron microscope. And this is an angstrom. I don't know what that is. Oh, yeah, 100 picometers. I didn't know that. A carbon atom is only 340 picometers, and an alpha helix is only at 800 picometers. Cesium atom is only 500 picometers, um, kind of bored while doing this. Oh wait, here's a water molecule. I've missed that. And, what are these? This looks like a Mickey Mouse head for some reason. Rest in peace, Rusty Taylor, if that's how you pronounce your name. Anyway, um... This is a glucose molecule. Just 800 picometers. X-ray wavelengths are just 500 picometers. And phospholipid, is that how you pronounce it, I think? 2.5 nanometers. And the rest of the stuff is kind of going to bore you as in just, uh... Let's go bigger. A phospholipid layer and DNA. Transistor gate, porcine circle virus. Oh, this is a bunch of viruses. We're entering the virus zone. Oh, and here we are. The smallest thing visible to an optical microscope. 200 nanometers. An ultraviolet wavelength is 60 nanometers. HIV. Oh, wait. That's... Oh, that's also a virus. I thought it was just a disease. A Mimi virus and a violet light wavelength. Oh, here we are. The largest virus. 440 nanometers. Hopefully, you don't encounter those. Still want to deep. Let's go bigger, still. And 
And this is where we are. Now prepare for the big stuff. Oh cool, now we're in space. And you know what they say, in space, no one can hear you scream. Ah! Now we're gonna go to the universe. And there's some nebulas along the way. And probably a couple of galaxies. Welcome to the universe. It kind of makes you feel like a, like some sort of a plank. Makes you feel like a plank particle, doesn't it? Now we're going to go back to where we just started. Uh, you know what? I don't think I can if I'm still sharing my screen. Nah, whatever. Let's just stop it.